Hello, we are Aaron Seltzer and Jason Friedberg. And we are two of the biggest disgraces to film ever and should be thrown from the top of the Chrysler building and fall into a pit of rabid badgers. Then we should be thrown into a large vat of battery acid. Then we should be mauled by a large pack of rabid tigers. And finally we should be catapulted into an active volcano that is about to erupt. We like to make movie parodies of movies such as 300, The Day After Tomorrow, Twilight and Avatar. And guess what? They suck epically. They are unfunny. The writing is horrible. The acting is terrible. And so is the production. Now you're probably wondering, if our movies are so horrifically bad, why do we keep making more? Well, here's how. There are actually some people who like this shit. Yeah, we know. It's sad. But unfortunately, it's the truth. I'm guessing you probably demand an explanation why we do this. Well, you see, when we were kids, whenever our parents took us to the movies, we thought that the movies we saw were way too serious so we thought it would be a good idea if we made parodies of those movies to add a more comedic spin on them. When we made parodies of Star Wars and Rocky and showed them to our parents, they were absolutely disgusted, and spanked us ludicrously hard, and abandoned us from ever seeing another movie, until we were adults. This is why we fail. We also enjoy making sex with Hugo and Roland Emmerich. But we cheated in them by making sex with, yes, you guessed it once again, inanimate objects. They include these cranes, spaceships, tennis nets, Chinese takeaways, CDs, shotguns, torpedoes, nuclear submarines, wallets, refrigerators. Signs that say no through road in them. French horns, wooden doors, wind chimes, the Milky Way galaxy, Hitler's bunker, spider webs, VHS tapes, pillows, iPhones, hair gel, straws, freight trains, taxis, grills, bows and arrows, lemons, red apples, Boss, McDonald's drive throughs the Pizza Hut logo, encyclopedias, shopping trolleys, Twitter, shaving cream, elephant trunks, brooms, octopus tentacles, dead lobsters, raffle, captors, bomb fuses, airplane wings, roller coasters, rotor blades, fans, the financial data of Microsoft, clothes, an old rusted piece of metal from a scrapyard somewhere in the northwestern United States, Spigonia, Windows Movie Maker, Blu-ray players, cave paintings, canoes, corkscrews, balloons, pine trees, anchors, steam locomotives, clothes pegs, hoodies, Jeans, ice cubes, Titanic shipwreck, tug bolts, TV remotes, toasters, digital clocks, and model railways. And when we make sex with those things, it sounds like this. I am a And that is all. Because we have got absolutely no clue how to make sex with inanimate objects. But what did you think, Mr. Freight Train? Well, all I have to say to that is just three words. What. The. Fuck.
That was the gayest thing ever, right? That's it. You're both dumped. I'm off to find a female freight train to have sex with. But wait, I can't, because I am a goddamn freight train. Oh well, anything is better than being here. This relationship is officially over. Bye, bitch faces. No, 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 now what are we supposed to do now? Just sit here and wait for something to happen. Actually, yes, something is supposed to happen. There is meant to be somebody from the evil YouTuber hating alliance who comes to PWNU. Well, if that is the case, why isn't there somebody from that godforsaken evil YouTuber hating alliance coming to all us? H -m 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 -m. Maybe he didn't know that he was supposed to be owning us or something. Well, doesn't matter. Because we want to make more as poor parodies of popular movies just to rake in more money for us. So I guess we'll go now and get to work making more shitty parodies. Alright, let's go. You wanna know something? I just had a thought. That guy who was whispering sounded very familiar somehow. It sounded like that fuckhead Tony Little who thinks that he can scare people with his stupid Bizzle and shit. Wait, shit, I just had a thought. What if that prompter back there was Tony Little? Excuse me, please pull over and look in your back seat. There was that creepy whisper again. Alright then. Let's pull over and see who's in the back seat. What the fuck? Oh my god. It's... it's... Yes, that's right. It's the one and only Tony Little, America's personal trainer. And it has come to my attention that you make shitty movie parodies. I disguised myself as a prompter back there to fool you guys. And I snuck into your back seat when I heard that you were planning on driving away. Well, now that I have got you where I want you I will now speed rape you to shreds with my super mega hipper speed rape gazelle 9000 beta. So bend over and there will be no excuses. Here yeah, right. As if your stupid little toy can inflict any sort of damage on anyone, you cannot get rid of us. And now we are going to run you over, so go to hell, you bisexual horse face. How fucking dare you speak to me like that? Right, that's it. I am now going to speed rape you so fast it cannot be shown on camera, and I don't care what you have to say so let's get this speed raping started. <laughs> Damn it, damn it, damn it. Your quick speed rating has destroyed us. We hate you, Tony Shittle. We hope you trip over a rock and die. We are not dying a slow and painful death. Fuck you, world. Now that Aaron Seltzer and Jason Friedberg have been super speed raped to death, the movie industry is safe. But when more shitty movie directors come lurking, just leave them to Tony Little. Bye bye for now, and enjoy the rest of your day.